Hey, we got a boiled egg out of it, I think. I could enter the refugee camp. Fuck. <laughs> Don't mind me just in here killing everybody, but I'm gonna come in here and just um, visit your camp as well. It's all fine. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to Home Behind. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcone. And uh, we did a one-shot on this. I think you guys really enjoyed it, wanted to see a bit more of it going forward. Therefore, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, I'll maybe record maybe an episode more or two, or maybe until we die, whichever one comes first. If you want to see more of this, though, maybe an entire run, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like, and I'll consider doing that. For now, let's actually go forward. A lot of you people have left me some really good advice about this, though. Number one, I was running everywhere. Running makes you, makes your mood increase, or not increase, decrease if anything, and it makes you hungry as well. Speaking of hungry, I'm actually in the negatives when it comes to hunger. I do have a lot of food over here. Uh, just in case, uh, a bit of a heads up, I restarted my run because a lot of the advice you guys gave me has helped me do a lot better. But I'm back to the very same point where we left off last time. So we haven't lost any progress, but I did restart because you guys left me some really good advice over here. Uh, which I'll talk about here pretty soon, but for now we're actually starving. Let's go ahead and have this baked potato for now. Uh, I want to keep around 30 and above is what I've been told. So insects going to really mess with my mood, unfortunately, but so be it. I guess we have a lizard over here as well. Just eat a live lizard, huh? <laughs> My dude is a baller. I guess we'll have to have some of this fish here for now. I'd like to bake the potato, but unfortunately, we have to get an upgrade to the kitchen before we could actually get new recipes for food and other stuff. As a matter of fact, we have to do get a lot of new recipes, but that requires us increasing the stuff down here, which we don't have here at the moment. So, um, I guess we'll have to have some insects, man. It's unfortunate, but so be it. Sardines are very low in the totem pole. Um, mushroom, I guess we'll have that. And maybe another fish. At least we're above 30 now, which is fine. And... Thirst, we're okay. Okay. I still need a torch because at nighttime, it becomes an issue with my accuracy and also my mood as well. So as you can see, we're dropping really drastically here at the moment. But we have actually arrived to our very first destination, which has a little bit of a story Hi. thing to it as well. We have a villager here. Let's see if we want to do some trading first. I could offer three insects for a mushroom. I'm giving away nine food for four food. But this messes with my mood. This is not. I guess I'll do it. Sure. And we could also fight her if we want to. I think I'll bypass that for now, because I don't think I want to piss people off here, because I've heard... Ooh, we got the wood finally. Got the wood finally! I heard that the village chief over here actually gives you some pretty good stuff when you first meet him, so it's probably best we don't actually anger him by killing the people in his village. You know, it might be some pretty bad business, I would say. Uh, this is refill water, but my water's already filled up. How about we go ahead and drink water, and then we refill water. There you go. Alrighty. I also need to rest on occasion. It's something I've been told as well. The problem is now I'm also being chased by the rebels, which could be a problem. Steel rice. That's good. I'm going to rest right here, as a matter of fact. This actually helps out with your boost, and it gets you off of the road at night, which is always a good thing. There's a bug up here. Okay. Got that bug. Got some rotten stuff. Got some more wood. Hey, actually, we do need that. Because now... Oh, check it out. We can make the butcher's knife, which is an upgrade to our weapon. This is strength and agility, huh? Well, either way, we need the butcher's knife to actually increase the kitchen. So, might as well make it now. So, let's go ahead and make that right now. Excellent. And I think this will help us out here with our damage going forward, too. So, let's uh, equip you. Let's see. 2 to 3 damage, 50 accuracy. 1 to 2, 65 accuracy. Yeah, I think I'll go with this butcher's knife. Why not? Um, Alrighty, cool. That is fine for now. No skills, no points to distribute. All right, let's continue here. Jump over if we can. That worked out. This is not really a jump over, but it works. All righty. Normal intelligence-based villager. Do you want to do some trading? I could trade my rag for roasted sardine. I'm going to say no, even though I need food. I'm going to say no because we might need that rag for something. I think we need it for the torch, actually. So, no. More wood over here. There's a bed where I could rest at as well. Let's make this fast because the rebels are indeed approaching. We got 30 rests. Perfect. Hi. Or at least 30 morale. Um, trading. Three food for nine roasted insects. No. You know why? Because I could eventually cook this into really good food. So I'm going to say no to that. More wood over here. Great. Mm, let's try to jump over again. Agility. Come on, man. Come on. Let's spy then. Fine. Oh, well, that doesn't get me through it. Break it down! Oh, come on! Look at the stuff in there, though! 
You jerk. Oh, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Damn! There's a lot of good stuff in here. Alrighty. Uh, I really want to fight these people, believe me. I've been brushing up on my fighting game as well. Uh, if I beg to the chief, he'll give me some stuff, and it doesn't really hurt your morale. So, this is actually a really good one to do. I think um, that's also affected by your intelligence, which I've been trying to level up a little bit for our combo or rage meter to build up faster. And now we have a bit of a story here. What brings you here, young man? Oh, you know, just running away from rebels. Uh, nothing more than the winds of war, it compels me to move forward. The flames of the Civil War have ravaged this ancient land. So many of these, those drowning in despair have passed through here in recent months. But my friend, you are different from them. In one glance, I know that you are pursuing something, chasing something, and in your eyes, all I see is sorrow. You read me well. I'm looking for my daughter, Sokka. I lost my family in the war. My brother Rick and my daughter Sokka survived, but I only know that they are running north. Although my memory is fading, I seem to remember one day, not too long ago, two people that passed by here. The young man was wearing blue, while the girl wore a yellow dress and a red hat. I think that's her. I want to say that's her. They are headed northwest, through the desert. I believe their final destination was Sarda. Really? Thank you for the information. Looks like I'll have to hurry. The wolves in this region are acting strangely. The smell of war have driven them crazy. They've even begun attacking humans. The road ahead will only grow more and more dangerous. Take this bottle of water, and please take care of yourself. Safe journeys, traveler. Hey, this guy's good. I like this guy. He gave me a bunch of stuff by begging. He gave me some water. Uh, let's see about trading with you. If I give you two glue, you'll give me five boiled eggs. I only have one. Damn. That would have been really good. Alrighty. Well, is there a reason why you're walking this slow now? Oh, you know what? I think we're overburdened. Yeah, we have too many items now. Jeez. Um, can I upgrade my cart now? We need stick. I, I can make the rope, right? Make the rope here really quickly. No wonder we're moving so slowly. Uh, we need to make the stick as well. There we go. Hey, we can even upgrade the torch now. No, but we need the cart because we're way overburdened. So this will give us more room now. I want to say, come on. It also makes you move faster. Now we can carry up to 65, which is a little bit better. Uh, I do need this goddamn torch, though. What do I need for that? Rope and another stick? Well, I can make rope again. Can I make myself another... St I can! Hey, let's go ahead and get the torch, too. Sweet. Oh, what am I missing now? Oh, I'm missing a piece of wood, of course. You make the stick, which requires the wood, but now you're out of wood. Story of my life. <laughs> it actually isn't. Don't believe that. Don't believe all the, the cynicism I throw at myself here. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's trade with you. I could offer three wine for six fries. Wow. You're getting a good bargain if I give you three wine for six fries, you jerk. Okay. I could fight these people, and I was considering it, but the chief was actually really nice to me. So I'm not going to do it. But I am starving now, so let's see about eating a raw lizard. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to. Roasted insect, we'll have that now. Baked potato. I need to get up to 30 at least, is what I've heard. So this is going to mess with my mood, but so be it. Okay, and let's have... There you go, that'll do. My mood is going to make it less rage and less experience. Oh, so that's what the morale does. Okay. Now, the wolves are a lot more dangerous now, is what that guy told me. So, let's go into an, a balanced build, I guess. Sure. Good damage on my part now with this butcher's knife. That's not bad. That's really good damage. I could rage up if I want to, but you know what? I'm going to save that. I think we're doing an alright job without the rage. Yep, excuse me. Come on, buddy. There you go. We got some meat and a level up. Great. Um, skill points, or at least points into a bit more strength for the Butcher's Knife, and I'm going to say more agility. We have a new skill. I picked up Rage, by the way. Now we have speed, move speed, dodging, experience. More experience would be very useful right now. But let me get the movement speed instead, especially with the rebels after us. It's probably best we keep moving, but without actually running to mess with our food. Oh, speaking of food. God damn it. All right, potato. I'm gonna have to eat you raw. Wanted to cook you, but so be it. Alrighty. Now, can I talk to this lady over here? Just hanging out? Just hanging out. Doesn't want to talk to me. She's out here on a vacation, just sightseeing while I'm over here trying to find my, my family and running from rebels and shit like that. Let's have this fish here. Try my best. Oh, we can make herbal powder. Sure. Okay. I think that was a good idea. 
I don't know, man. I don't know much about this game. I'm just learning as I go here. And anyway, here's another wolf. Sandstorm. Move speed and 50% may be blinded. It's not really good when I'm going up against a wolf that are actually crazier than usual now. This is a really terrible situation for me. There's also a dead body there, probably by this wolf. Yeah, look at my accuracy. 34. This is really terrible. I'm going to have to go to an accurate build. Oh, Jesus. Let's go with the rage here. Luckily, this is a weak wolf, but I'm pretty sure he's not blinded by the sandstorm. You're starving? Dude, don't starve right now. We're fighting a wolf. Come on. Come on, man. The rebels are getting closer. Let's go. Let's go. Just keep running. Keep running. Goddamn sandstorm. Refugee corpse. Uh, I could bury it for a mooning. I could cut the meat. Ooh. I'm going to bury it. I needed that increase to the morale anyway. Should have probably dug up the items first, though. Eh. Whatever. That's a really good morale boost. I'm not really too sad about that. What the hell is this? This long journey has made you wiser. I unlocked a new job in Chinese. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I did it. I did it, goddammit. Um, we should probably drop this herbal... I think I'm going to fight this guy. I got an egg. Let's have that. Can I cook anything right now? No. How's that? Sardine. I'm gonna fight this guy. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Mm. Trade with you. Three cooked rice for two water. I don't have that. I don't have that at all. Do I have to fight every single one of you? If I fight? Well, I'm gonna fight this one at least. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll go with an accurate build. Let's fight. Am I gonna get wrecked? I hope not. Well, we're doing a good number on her. Oh yeah, we got this one, I think. Absolutely. As long as the other guys don't get involved. I like how they're just hanging out while I kill their friend. Oh, that sucks how huh? you're being killed. Mm, yeah. Hey, good luck with that, huh? Alright, she's making a comeback here. Alright, we stole... What did we steal? Rice? Let's have this herbal powder now. And... I guess we have to have the rice. Dean. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to fight all of them. That's what I figured. <laughs> all right, let's go to an accurate fight again and fight it out. This guy's weak at the very least. I'm going to hold off my rage against Homeboy, who's going to probably want to take a shot at me after all. My HP worries me a little bit, plus the Rebel Progress worries me quite a bit as well. Come on, buddy. Come on, we're saving this rage for the next guy. Come on. Hey, we got a boiled egg out of it, I think. I could enter the refugee camp. Fuck. <laughs> Don't mind me just in here killing everybody, but I'm gonna come in here and just um, visit your camp as well. It's all fine. Found something there. Here. How you doing? You don't know anything that's happening outside, do you? Yeah. Well, don't go outside anytime soon. Uh, I don't have what you're offering. You're a normal agility build. I'm gonna rest. I'm not gonna fight this one because I do feel like we need some HP back. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you. You got a really scary looking knife. Looks really jagged and pointy. I don't think I want to mess with that. Alrighty, we're up to 90 of 130. Not too shabby. There's no other way for us to heal ourselves right now. Huh? No. Okay. And we still have to fight Homeboy over here. But my rage is ready to go. Let's go into the accurate build again. This guy's normal in strength, huh? Okay. Uh, let's do it. There you go. Very good to save up those rages when you need them, need them. Something happened. Oh, I'm bleeding, dude. Oh, fudge. How do you deal with that? Now nah, I'm over. I'm overburdened again, aren't I? No, it's because I'm. Oh, dude. When you're bleeding, you 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 walk slow. I mean, that would make sense, sure. But, goddamn, it's 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 terrible here at the moment. Well, I'm not bleeding anymore, but I'm still going slow. Oh, it's a sandstorm. Okay, the bleeding is gone. It just lasted a little while. Alrighty. Uh, we might have to take a rest here pretty soon, man. Oh, dude, we got... Is that... Do we... Yeah, we can get the torch now. Yes. All righty. So nighttime should be a little bit easier for us now. Very cool. I guess that automatically it's, I guess, equipped at nighttime. Who knows? All righty. We're still ahead of the rebels, but not at the speed I'd like to be. What the hell is this? A relic. Mood increase. I could search for items. I could tear it apart. Well, let's actually search first before we visit for the mood. That failed. Try it again. Failed. Let's visit with the mood. 
Yeah! I got a really good buff from it as well. Should I tear it apart? Is this gonna, like, hex me or something? No. Well, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, whatever god or goddess that probably was. Alrighty. I feel like we need a rest, though, pretty soon. I'm also starving again. I'm gonna hold off on the starvation. Let's, um, have some... Water. I didn't see it there for a second. I almost freaked. Okay, we're getting ahead of him now. Hey, look at the torch! That's awesome! I'm really liking this game. It's really simplistic, but it's kind of fun. Oh, Jesus. A weak jackal? I think I could fight you. I think. I hope so. Oh, Jesus. Um, I forgot about my HP being so low. This could be a problem. Should we rage up now? Uh, no, I think we almost have it. Yeah, I don't think we need it, but we're gonna have to get some rest pretty soon. Because, oh boy, we're hurting. Can I make the, 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 the crazy pounder now? I can. One of these does 4, and this one does 15, so 4 times 3 is 12. Yeah, we should probably go with the herbal powder. And let's have that now, because our HP is very, very low. I'll feed myself soon. What the hell is this? A crate? Pry it open? Sure. Oh, okay, it's this again. Um... What? Oh, come on! I... Fuck! That's annoying. It's a free, easy item there that I screwed up on. Or items, even, that we probably could have needed. Alright, so another boost to mood. Let's, um, search first, right? Hey! I wasn't expecting much with 39%, but we got some really cool-looking food. Hey! How about that? I'm getting so lucky here. Alrighty. Well, let's, um, get our mood up again. Yeah! Now, we are starving, so there is that. Uh, let's, uh, Jesus... Probably get some food. We've got scrambled eggs. Ah, that's what we got here. Roasted fish. Who are you? Weak wolf pump? You don't scare me. I'd rather not fight you at nighttime, but you don't scare me much. Let's go with a uh, accuracy build, I suppose. And you know what? Let's use the rage now and start building it up again. Because the problem here is that I don't want to lose too much HP because I want to get all my HP back. And we're almost at the second location, too. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know the sandstorm sucks, but you gotta pull through. Jesus, it really sucks. This game is really RNG dependent, in case you weren't aware. And sometimes it whew, plays against you quite badly. Should have probably fed myself before that fight, too. Ah, well. There's rocks. Got this here. We're almost at our second location, too. I'm happy about that. Alrighty, I think we're almost out of time here today, too, huh? Let me check my time here, guys. One second. Alrighty, uh, apologies. This is gonna seem really out of place here. You're probably thinking, why is there a dead body under my feet? Well, that's a very good question. So here's what happened. When I tapped down to the screen to check how long I've been recording, and I tapped back in, apparently this game automatically resets your recording. So, not, not many games. As a matter of fact, I've never encountered one game that stops my recording when I tap out. But this game apparently stops your recording when you tab out to check how much time you've been recording. So I came back, I figure, oh hey, we have like two more minutes left, guys. Let me go ahead and just fight this bandit here that's under my feet. I fought him, I killed him, and I was about to <laughs> give my farewell. Okay, I'll wrap it up, I'll see you next time. And I hit F12 to stop my recording. And instead of stopping my recording, it started my recording. And I was like, uh-oh. And that's the story. Really interesting, huh? Yeah, I know. I know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I killed that bandit. Um, we have the town, or second town, coming up pretty shortly. I think it's gonna be after this little village, though. It's not this village, but probably the next one over. The rebels are kind of ahead of us, and we're halfway through the journey. So, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time. I really hope this is recording this time, is it? It is. Okay. Everything's fine. I'll catch you guys next time.